Oh. As you can see right there, Ramona got corrected. Now you guys gotta be careful. Don't try this at home. She was coming on a little strong and Ronnie went ba 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 ba. Knock it off. She needed to get some respect of her space. The other dog is just harassing them the whole time and they do nothing about it. They're gonna be in for a long day. I would never put these dogs together if I didn't know them both really well and know that it wasn't actually gonna be dangerous. But that's what a dog correcting another dog looks like. a couple leashes on we're gonna take them both for a walk together if you're going to let your dog interact with another dog your dog better be able to turn right around and be neutral and obedient around said dog that's the key that's why when they're a puppy when they're untrained you don't want to be letting them have tons and tons and tons of interaction with this dog, that dog, the other dog, because their obedience isn't there yet. And if the obedience isn't there, the more they play around with other dogs, the harder it's gonna be to get. Does this sound familiar? You have an older dog, you get a new puppy, and the other puppy just completely terrorizes your other dog and your other dog takes it. Heard it a million times. Guys, in a perfect world, if you have two dogs interacting, they can correct each other. They can communicate. You don't have to step in every two seconds, just like you saw with Ramona and Ronnie out on the field there. Ronnie corrected her, so I didn't have to. The dogs should be able to work it out 